Yeah, the, the, the rig has completely changed our outlook on work. We've been much more successful in, in bringing in work. And that's because I think it completes a sort of a toolbox that we, we can offer clients so we're able to go anywhere and, and survey, scan anything. The game changer is that not only is it a scanning rig, but it's, it's the best, the quickest, the fastest, and the most complete scanning rig in the market. The rig is sort of its own uh, entity, really. It now runs off a uh, 10 gigabit uh, network speed, and uh, we also use a set of individual uh, computers on each pod, so everything runs in parallel. For each scan we do, it means uh, we're ready to do the next one after about 40 seconds, so we can get scan after scan after scan constantly. The only limiting factor is how much storage we have on the day. <laughs> this means we're able to capture hundreds of people a day uh, fully backed up and with no downtime, uh, which is just incredible. So our system utilizes 12 pods, um, 120 cameras, uh, 100 LEDs, and with the LEDs and the camera synchronization, we have a synchronization up to a millisecond. Uh, our rig can be transformed, uh, you know, with the click of a button to capture 4D content as well, using co constant light from 360 angles. Uh, using a fully pixel synced a Z camera array, uh, or we can use the uh, Microsoft Connect array. We have all of those systems fully integrated into our rig. We can turn them on and off at the push of a button. Being able to incorporate 3D lighting, uh, cross polarization, diffuse lighting, and uh, parallel polarization in one rig and automatically capture look dev lighting is one of the problems we tried to solve. And we can do this pretty much on the fly using our 3D LED lighting. This enables capture of um, albedo, specular, and uh, cross polarized images. We offer the data in three phases. Phase one um, is the raw scan with irregular geometry and texture map. Phase two is targeted to still visualizations. Um, this can be a non-animated 3D model in any media production. For example, a augmented reality, virtual reality application or even 3D prints. In phase three, we optimize the scans for animation. So this could be, for example, a number of different facial expressions which get um, blended into each other uh, based on a facial action coding system. The 3D scanning is no longer only for the film and TV industry. We now deploy this technology all over various industries from uh, advertising, virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, fashion and who knows where else next, maybe the metaverse.